Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about something a little bit different and it's something that I'm gonna give you my opinion about and I'm kind of gonna back it up with why I feel the way I feel. But of course, there's gonna be many, many opinions about this and you have to do what works for you. All right, so let's get started here. Um, what I'm gonna be talk talking to you about is buyer feedback. And a lot of people will say that if somebody has zero feedback, they will block them and not allow them to buy from them. So let me go in here and show you what I'm talking about. There is actually a page, it's called Buyer Management, where this is where your blocked buyer list is. So if you ever need to go in and manage that and take somebody off of it, do you put people on your blocked buyer list? Um, I do, but it has to be something pretty significant for me to add somebody to the blocked buyer list. But I do have a list. <laughs> and basically, I just cut and paste it and put it here when I have an issue. It's not a huge list, but I do have a list. Uh, buyer exemption list. I don't think I use that. You can use the buyer block exemption list to uh, let specific users through regardless of the blocks you've set. So I don't know what that means, but you can manage it there. Um, so really what I'm going to talk to you about today is should you block people that have zero feedback? And if you go in here, you can look, there's buyer requirements and you can block buyers who have caused blank cancellations or unpaid purchases within so many months. So let's say you don't want anybody that has had five unpaid items in a month to buy from you. That kind of makes sense to me. Do I turn it on? No, because I want to get as many sales as I can, obviously. And just because they didn't pay you doesn't mean they're not going to pay me. So I do not turn that on, but I could see where that may be beneficial. And you could even change that number. It looks like up to five. So if somebody has five in a month, you may say, I really don't want you buying from me because the odds of you paying could be maybe less. So that's up to you. That's something you can turn on or off. Um, block buyers whose primary shipping address is in a location I don't ship to. So if you have locations you don't ship to, you would want to turn this on. Block buyers who are currently winning or have bought blank items of mine in the last 10 days. So. Um, I think this is more for if you only want somebody somebody to only be able to buy so many items from you in an amount of time, which I'm not sure why you would want to block sales, but that option is there for you. But here's the one I want to talk about. Only set this requirement to block buyers with a feedback score. So if you want to block people that have zero feedback, you would put zero here and you would click this. I do not personally block buyers with zero feedback, and I will tell you why. Do I get unpaid items? Yes. Are they always from people with zero feedback? No, they're from people that have a lot of feedback. Um, zero feedback buyers, a lot of times they pay, and I'm going to give you some examples here in just a second. So I do not turn this setting on. I have heard people like in the Facebook group and other YouTubers say that they block buyers who have zero feedback. Now, can I give you specifically who said it and when they said it? No, this is just over the years I've heard people talk about it. Probably more so in the Facebook group than on YouTube, but um, I can't really recall where I heard it, but I know people talk about it. Uh, let me know down in the comments, do you block zero feedback buyers? And if so, what benefit do you think that it has for you? So um, I do have don't allow block buyers to contact me. Once I blocked a person, I don't need to have any communication with them anymore. So I, I do turn that on. And let's see, require buyers to provide a payment method before they place a bid. I have that turned on. Require buyers to provide a payment method before they make an offer. I have that turned on as well. Now, let's go back to the feedback. I do not block buyers with zero feedback, and I'm going to show you why, okay? The buyer of this item, and I may have accept, 
I may have accepted best offers on some of these items. You will see these items in a future what sold. This is more just for me to show you that all of these sales were zero feedback buyers. I was the first person they ever bought from on eBay. If I would have had feedback turned off, I would not have gotten any of these sales, all right? And I just kind of went back. This one's from November 6th. And this one here sold. I sold this stuffed animal to somebody on December 2nd. So a lot of times what you're going to find is somebody with zero feedback has probably searched Google or something. Maybe this person was looking specifically for this animal alley horse for their child. And they found me through Google and they ended up making an offer, either starting an account or I think you can even buy as a guest. I'm not 100% sure on that. But they bought this horse from me. They paid. No problems. All of these people that I'm going to show you, they paid and most of them paid immediately. So if I would have had block zero feedback buyers, I would have lost all of these sales. This is a Liz Tech artisan signed bracelet. It is a specific artisan item that only specific people maybe know about this artist. So again, it may have been a Google search. I have no idea. But this was $107 that I made off this item. I would have lost that if I would have had feedback, zero feedback turned off. Advent calendar, same thing, zero feedback. I was their first purchase. <laughs> These um, Halloween prop teeth, zero feedback. I was their first purchase. I mean, we're talking $93, $40. And look, all three of these sales, they paid my asking price, my sale price. This is a Jimmy Big Mouth Billy Bass singing fish. Sold that. This one here was a Polaroid camera. I sold this plush. So again, people looking for specific items found them on eBay. They did not have an eBay account and they created one to buy the item from me. It's not that they, you know, didn't pay me. In fact, I when I was looking through all of the zero feedbacks, I don't think any of them had non-payment. This little Butterbeans Cafe action figure, she's a really rare, hard to find figure. So somebody found it on eBay, started an account, and ordered this item from me. And this is a Lego set. Now, I did not go back super far to um, show you guys every single zero feedback person. I just went through and pulled up enough to make a point that zero feedback buyers, a lot of them do pay and they are good buyers. So um, think about before you had an eBay account, would you want to be blocked because you'd never bought anything on the platform. I mean, we all start somewhere. And really, what kind of experience is a person going to have if they go on eBay and they're blocked just because they've never bought on eBay before and they have no feedback? That would kind of stink. That wouldn't be a very good experience for me if I wanted to buy something and I couldn't buy it because I had zero feedback. Well, I have to get my feedback somewhere. So just something to consider and maybe reconsider if you have zero feedback buyers blocked. Um, again, this is just my personal opinion. You do what's best for your business. Maybe you've had some bad experiences with zero feedback buyers, but I'll tell you, I have unpaid items and they're not typically from my zero feedback purchases. A lot of times the people that don't pay, they've got feedback. <laughs> so you can get an unpaid item on anyone from anyone. A lot of people just change their mind and they may not be a bad buyer. They may have just changed their mind and didn't communicate that to you. So um, I would say if you're wishy-washy about this, maybe the unpaid item option would be a better fit than just somebody with zero feedback. But again, this is all just my feelings on it and you are entitled to your own feelings but i uh, just wanted to give you some examples of zero feedback buyers that did pay and sales that i would have lost if i had not 
if I had blocked those buyers. So definitely think about that. And the buyer management, if you just go up to the search bar, you can find that. So if you want to go in and change your settings and look into that, that is an option as well. So this is more of a educational tutorial kind of how-to video. I did show you some of the items that I sold, but you will see those in my future what sold videos as well. So if you see a duplicate, I'll go over where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. Um, if I took a best offer in those future videos. So definitely stop back, check out some other videos. And as always, thanks for being here and thanks for watching.